Hey guys, so I'm doing my um, full body workout today. Uh, well, I did this yesterday and Sunday, but I'm trying to use it so that you know. I started with chest, and then I did shoulders, back, arm, abs, and legs. One thing I skipped was calves. Um, something happened after I did deadlifts, and I just didn't feel good for doing any more exercise, so I just left, because I still was going to do cardio, and I was still going to stretch too. Uh, I'll talk about more of that later in the video, though. So here I start with 215, and my first set was alright. Um, I'm supposed to do three sets of 12 on everything, and for the first set, I did manage to get 12. But on the second set, I think I only managed to get 10, and then I got burned out. Um, I'm just not used to doing such high uh, repetitions anymore. And that became a problem, and it's really apparent in this third set, where I only managed to get about 7 reps. Even though I can handle the weight pretty easily, as you can see, the first two sets, I handle it pretty easy. Um, and the weight didn't feel heavy at all. The thing is, since it's been such a long time since I've done uh, this type of workout, I no longer have good endurance, so that's one factor. Plus, another one is I might have gone a little bit too heavy for going into a new program. Uh, for shoulders, I just did a machine press. I didn't really feel like doing anything too difficult, as I'd have overhead press later this week, and I want to save my shoulders for that. I don't want to hammer them too hard, especially after just doing bench press. Um, the one thing that will probably get hammered pretty hard in this program is my shoulders. So I might have to find a different exercise that isn't as taxing. Because I will be doing incline later this week, and that's also pretty taxing on the shoulders. Um, so I might just do something more isolated uh, and easy. Just maybe more uh, bodybuilding focus so that my shoulders don't get too tired out. Um, that's why I chose the machine too. It's because it's not too taxing, but it still helps build muscle and it's still isolating the muscle, which I find to be beneficial. Next step is back. I did pendway rolls for this reason. I just wanted to keep this exercise, um, keep on building and getting stronger in this, plus it's a compound movement. I find it's pretty effective. I like doing uh, assembly rows. I could have just done machine rows instead, or dumbbell rows, and I think I do have dumbbell rows, but that's on a different day. And one thing I noticed was, on my third set, um, the weight either might have been too heavy or I'm just fatigued from like all the exercise because again I am doing higher repetitions now so my whole body gets fatigued especially after doing shoulders and bench uh, but I noticed I was kind of cheating on these last few reps you can see my uh, shoulders are compensating and I was using leg drive on these uh, to get them up and I wasn't quite touching my chest and you're supposed to touch it to your chest but again I was pretty tired by then so it, it really shows me that I'm really um, re really lacking in endurance. Where I used to be able to do up to 20 reps without a problem, now I can barely do over 5. And that's pretty much because of the programs I've been on have been uh, focused on low repetition and high weight. Uh, this tricep extension for my triceps. I like doing these because they're not as painful as skull crushers on my wrists and stuff and they're just as effective. And I'd rather do weighted dips but we don't have a, uh, anything to do that on or a belt that I could uh, attach weights to. And I wanted to do preacher curl machine too but we don't quite exactly have one so this is the next best thing. Um, and I went pretty light on these. I think I just used 60 pounds which isn't too heavy. Normally I could probably do 70 or maybe even 80, but I felt the burn and with biceps it doesn't really matter to me whether I'm using a lot of weight or not. Just as long as uh, 
the muscles are active uh, as long as they get a pump because there's no like there's no real way to make your biceps any stronger um, after a certain point they just kind of plateau and it's pretty hard to get your biceps to be any stronger unless you cheat and by cheat I mean like do cheat curls uh, in this case probably using your feet or just doing um, like using your uh, momentum but here I'm seated so I can't really use my momentum although I can use my feet uh, next I did abs I, I think these are called like flutter kicks or something like that uh, I can't remember the specific name for these but basically what I did was five seconds down on each leg and then I'd do both legs 10 seconds down and then after that I'd do both legs uh, one second down just do them quickly and this is more for um, kind of mimicking a, a plank um, just kind of holding intra-abdominal pressure is, is what it helps with uh, I don't really find it super effective, but I did it anyway. Here, I wanted to do hang cleans just for the hell of it, but my form was just completely off on the hang clean. So, I probably won't attempt to do them again uh, on a day where I put them towards the end of the workout. If anything, I'm going to move them up to like the first thing I do if I'm going to include them. Just because... Um, it's very important that you're fresh when you're doing these. And I wasn't fresh, so my form was just completely off on doing them. Uh, normally, uh, 155 isn't a problem for me. And uh, they just weren't moving like I wanted. You even see on that third rep that I didn't even, uh, I wasn't even able to get under it. And I could have. I got it high enough to get under it, but I, I just wasn't feeling like doing it. Then I did deadlift. Here I do 345 for sub-12. And you can see that I don't quite lock out the reps at the top. There's two reasons for that. One, I wasn't really quite aware of it that I wasn't doing it when I was doing them. And two is like I've had this like pain in my lower back. Not not quite pain, but some like nerve or something. I, I feel something in my lower back. And like it doesn't feel right to even do a deadlift, even though this is kind of, it's not light, but it's not um, heavy either. It's, it's kind of like in between. You can even tell that my back is rounding quite a bit, uh, my lower back. And my hips are rising before my, um, well, they're rising faster than they should. And that's because I just don't feel quite right. It, it kind of makes me want to take a week off just to let that recover so that I can come back in and actually do these with proper form. Because doing them at high repetitions like this uh, could lead to injury if I'm not doing them right. Especially if I'm having trouble with um, what, I, what I consider a uh, right weight for me. Um, and it like the first two sets on deadlifts didn't really feel that bad. It wasn't, it wasn't until the third set where I kind of started feeling problems. Like I felt my lower back just um, clench up and I almost felt like throwing up or whatever. And that, that's because, like, one, it was a big shock to my body to be doing 12 repetitions. And I think I just need to get used to this new program. And I don't know. I think tomorrow I'm going to go back to the gym, try again, see how I have to pose. Otherwise, uh, I might take a week off and see what happens. Uh, that's it for the video, though. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you liked the video.